Hi to all, this is Dark here. So in today's video, we have Nine Boot by Segway. So as you can see here, Nine Boot by Segway. So this electric scooter does not work. And let's try to figure out why. So you have lots of tutorial how to disassemble this pile so you have to take out all these screws here is electronics and for to take out the wheel you need to take out these four screws two in here and two in here so we're gonna do that you need three millimeter allen key and then the wheel just goes off like that that's it so here you have the cable I've took all the electronics out and I'm gonna show you that electronic has water damage because we can see here all the rust that means that this electric scooter was in a water so that's not good so wait a minute so I'm back as you can see I've took the electronics out and here you can see here we have damage from water so here was a coil that was shorted and here were some capacitors but this doesn't function so if you if I plug this in and you won't be able to get any signs of power in the so let me just try to connect this and see if it works as you can see here the battery flashes let me just show you as you can see here in the battery it flashes so it means that the battery is good if we have blue if we have blue or lead so now I'm gonna connect this and I'll try to charge the battery but I couldn't I've charged it manually okay so we've connected so let's see if it works no it doesn't work so we have electronics malfunction so let's try to charge the battery stay tuned so this is the old electronics so let's try to to charge it the battery with the old electronic as you can see we have blue light flashing so let's connect it and see if it if it will charge so as you can see it's charging not charging charging not charging i don't know it's maybe because of the electronics it is dead and in here you can see the flashing light light red so that means it's charging so we have to put the new electronics and see if the new electronics works differently so stay so as you can saw we we have a charge then it won't charge and charge and won't charge so definitely definitely electronics problem so now i'm gonna take this beside and put new electronics 
and let's, let's see if this new electronics works so this is plug and play so I'm gonna show you when I try when I turn on the display with, with the broken electronics I have to put 5 volts 5 volts manually and then I could turn on the display and the Bluetooth function and the battery I was able to charge it to 49, 47% I'm gonna show you in the screenshot so why this doesn't go in a minute yeah it goes in but you have to put a little force because this is the new so let's try can I plug this in now let's try if I can so we have here and here it's a little oh I don't know you heard so we have a spark so let's try to yeah it works so you have Bluetooth that's good But now the new electronics work, so we have error 18. I will try to figure that out, but I think that that is because we don't have the motor connected. But this is the good sign. So now it works. And now it works. So now I'm gonna connect the motor and then we're gonna try now we're gonna try to to power the the battery if we can charge it so stay tuned so i plug the battery in let's try to connect it let's see what we have so we have flashes here so it works that's good but now you can see it's charging, not charging, charging, not charging, just like the old, the old one, as you can see here we have red flashing that means the battery is charging, so I don't know, maybe because the motor isn't connected, so, but we will see, and now let's put this whole thing together and let's see if it works, so stay so as you can see I've put the new electronics I've connected so now let's see if this works so we have we have something we don't have any error so that's good we have lighting oh we have down as you can see everything works so here's the brake when I break it. So now let's see if I don't know if I can show you. Let's try to. Uh, so we have light, so that's good. So here we have different type of speeds. We have S. We have red S and nothing so now let's see if see if we can get the moving no we don't get any errors but we don't we can't move the wheel so the motor won't work So that's not good. Maybe I have to I have to do something with electronics, but for now, as you can see, 
it won't work so maybe it's the here problem maybe we have damaged something and now i have to tell take it apart and see what we have for the problem so wait so i am back like i said the problem was that you need to read the user's manual because in the user's manual as you can see i've put this thing together and everything works but the motor won't work if you press it now it won't work it won't you give you any errors because you need to push it three kilometers per hour and then the motor will spin so that's the that's like the safety for this segway so you have to move it three kilometers an hour and then it will spin the the motor so everything works the electronics works uh, it is electronic is zero kilometers so that's nice so thanks for watching if you learn something put a thumbs up subscribe and wait for my next video maybe i will do a range test so thanks for watching zls3 dark out bye